Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome back to the Visually Stunning Movie Podcast. Thank you for listening. Hey, um, Disney has a new animated film coming out this Friday, uh, and it is called Encanto, uh, and it is set in Colombia, uh, and it is uh, not in conjunction with Pixar, so throttle back a little bit. Um, but so it's traditional animation for the most part. But I gotta say. Uh, Disney's track record of late uh, has been really good in their animated stuff. And I know that sounds weird when we're talking about Disney and animation. But some of their stuff, for me, personally, just for this guy right here, uh, yeah. um, this uh, of late, you know, uh, we had uh, 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 Raya earlier this year, which was great. Um, and, and, and Kanto is just a really... Uh, wonderful entry as well into their animation canon. Uh, now it's uh, written and directed by Sharice Castro-Smith, Jared Bush, uh, and Byron Howard. Uh, and it is the story of, uh, oh, excuse me, Mirabelle, who uh, is uh, the only non-gifted person in her family of magically gifted people. Um, and their magic comes from their house. Um, it was a gift to the family, to their grand, to her grandmother, uh, and it pervades their house and and their family, and it helps them maintain this community, which grew up around them when they were fleeing after they fled bandits back. You know when her grandmother and grandfather fled from their other village, so they live in this isolated little land. Uh, protected by magic and aided by magic and Mirabelle is the only one who is not gifted uh, with some sort of talent um, when she comes of age so she uh, exists in this kind of no man's land I mean the villagers don't have magic but she's part of the family of magic people and she doesn't have it uh, so she's always trying to do more and be more and serve more and help more um, and frankly for a, for a young teen girl that, that gets a little old uh, and starts wearing her down now um, the, uh, the, the premise of the film is that the magic that maintains the family and the house um, is failing uh, but no one believes Mirabelle. She's the only one that realizes it until much later uh, when the gifts that the family has start to kind of go wonky. Um, and there is a prophecy involved that was from one of her uncles who fled after he made this prophecy. So, like any good movie about magic, uh, but in a nice kind of twist, the chosen one who is either going to destroy or save the family and its magic is the only one without a gift, which is a nice change of pace, truth be told. Uh, so that is the film in a nutshell, but it is uh, so much more than just kind of this magical adventure. It is, it is about family, it is about loyalty, it is about love, it is about pride. Um, and in the end, it really does capture that spirit of, of this this small Colombian community uh, much more so than you might see in a, in a typical American town perhaps um, and it's nice Disney's been branching out uh, to cover these more diverse settings and peoples and legends Raya comes to mind Moana you know a few years ago it's they're, they're starting it's more than just these Western images and Western people and Western stories um, Western being white, uh, but yeah, no. And so it's it's nice that they're doing it, and it's and they're doing it better now than they were than say back in the days of Pocahontas, um, and even I mean the original Mulan wasn't too bad, but it was still kind of ang anglicized. But you get my point. So it is a really nice entry in terms of of of. of of that of diversity and representation but it's also just a really good story about about a, a family and a, and a how people 
really try to help their family and or not or how family can overlook certain people that can and can't do certain things um, so I really do recommend that you go see it it's going to open uh, on November 24th which I believe is the day before Thanksgiving if you want to take your traveling family out to a nice family film this one's really good uh, it also does come with a short beforehand uh, far from the tree which is the wonderful tale of some raccoons um, but it could be a little disturbing for the little little people so just be aware um, but it's about a mother and a baby raccoon and yeah so but it, it's actually really it's a really great short but it's a little bit of drama that's not quite cartoon for the little kids so um, yes yeah, so check out Encanto uh, November 24th from Disney highly recommend uh, and it's very fun there's some songs which is great because it's a Disney film so you know you're gonna get some songs and overall they, they, they pretty much all work uh, it's really nice um, there is a uh, blatant nod if you happen to be a Doctor Who fan there is a blatant nod to Doctor Who uh, and there's a very subtle thing that I picked up on I wanted it and it might not be there but to me I saw just a hint of the great Val Kilmer film, Real Genius. So if you watch it and you catch what I'm talking about and you agree with me, let me know. Let me know that I'm not insane. But I did. But there's definitely a clear cut Doctor Who reference for you as well. So check it out in Canto November 24th. Uh, until then, don't forget to like us, follow us on social media at VS Movie Podcast. You know the drill. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube, click subscribe. That helps us out too. Uh, we've got a lot of films screening this week five to be exact right now on Sunday night I have five scheduled for this week so uh, I probably won't even be you will probably won't even see any of those reviews until next weekend uh, but all the movies look either a widely appealing or B just really cool if you're a film person so watch for those take it easy everyone and we'll talk to you next time bye bye